Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys a really awesome tool that I created and I just wanted to show you how to put it together. Whether you bought this or maybe you just wanna check out the video or whatnot, you know what? Just check this out because if you're a daycare provider, this is for you. <laughs> so I've kind of done like a daycare organizational binder um, since I began. This is my daycare binder. I did start a shop on Etsy with all my printables on it. This is one of them. You completely print this yourself and at home and then you can just put it into a binder. I got this binder at Walmart. Um, for the sake of this video, I just went out and bought a new binder and printed everything off. So this is not actually my binder. This is just one that I printed. Um, for the tabs, these are not included, but I might put them in there. I don't know if I will. I'm just going to show you different ways that you can make tabs uh, for your daycare binder because some people like tabs, some people don't. It just depends on what your preference is. So um, yeah. Anyways, uh, as I open it up, this is the second page. Um, you can either choose this or this as your front cover. It doesn't matter. Um, this one I customized it. If you go on, if you have like Adobe, you can also customize this to say your childcare name. If you honestly want it customized like that bad and you buy this principle, just send me a message on Etsy and I can even just customize it for you and send it over. It takes me two minutes, but um, yeah, if I get like hundreds of people asking me for this, I might have to come up with a different solution. So anyways, this is my back cover. It says it takes a big heart to shape little minds, just kind of like a childcare saying. I did add in a few of these pages and um, my thought at first was you could take the page and you could use it as like, let me see if I can just quickly find one here. Um, as like uh, a divider. So here's another one that is included. It says happy times are never ending when we're playing and pretending. Like I thought I could use them as dividers, but then I made like four of them and I was like, wow, there's like not a whole ton of childcare quotes. So here's what I'll do. If you guys have a really cool childcare quote, Put it down in the comments below and I will work on it. I might add them, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, this book is just kind of like always, always changing. Um, okay, so first things up is the information page. Um, let me just <laughs> cover my information because I started filling it out and then I was like, no, that's actually maybe a bad idea. So this is just your information page and it's got emergency contacts underneath. Uh, again, another page divider, um, be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Like again, I really couldn't find a whole bunch. Um, you will find this also as like a separate printable um, on my Etsy store. I do have three different designs and I do have the option, you can go with my um, schedule for daycare or this is fun. I made it so that it's blank and it comes like this, like literally. Um, and you go on and I've made the PDF so it's editable and you're able to just enter in your info. Like you would start with the time drop off, you know, like, and just add in what you do during the day. But um, if you're just looking for a pretty simple, like daycare plan, that's mine. And I will link these all down in the description box below. So it comes with the daily schedule. This is the copy it comes with. If you want the other designs, you have to buy those separately, but this one does come with it. Um, and then here's what I did for dividers. So I just took like a piece of uh, cardstock and then I just printed off like the name and laminated it. So this one's themes 
and this is a spot for you to put in all of your monthly themes. So um, like in my daycare, and I know a lot of your daycares as well, each month you put in a theme. If you do themes twice a month, you could just put in two different themes here. So it's just something, right? Um, something to keep track of because I know I'm always going like months ahead and collecting things for my next theme. Uh, next one is cleaning. So I thought this was a really great idea and um, honestly, I use this a lot. So here's what you do. It says area and date. So you would put in today's date and then you would put in what needs to be clean. Like, so in my binder, I just put bathroom and then I will just put a check mark on the date that I've cleaned it. And it's like super easy. I will just go through the bathroom, clean it up, put a check mark. Um, I don't do every single thing every single day, but it just gives me an idea of when the last time I did it was. Um, and it just kind of keeps me motivated, like just to see the little checks. So next up here, I have a page for your passwords. So depending on like what you use, there's like different agencies and different different daycares go with different websites. Like if you have um, like a learning game or something that you're subscribed to for your daycare, this is where you can just put in your username and password. And this can be a shared binder between all of the daycare staff. So if you need like, you could even put in um, like your security system passwords in here, whatever you need, right? And the great thing about this is you can print off as many of these as you want. So if you fill up all four of the password spots, you just print off another one and you can start a second page for passwords. Um, next up, we have our yearly goals. I just like to put goals in here because I know I work best when I'm motivated and um, for me, like, I like to put in things like, I want to get my fence done this year. So I have that in my binder. Um, I want to go to Disney World at some point here again when COVID's over. Um, but yeah, it's just like yearly goals or things that you want to accomplish. Maybe it's like having a full daycare for the entire year or something. Like just something, you know, to put your goals at. <laughs> Uh, this has helped me so much. Um, this is a place to keep all the kids' birthdays. Um, before I had this, I literally cannot tell you how many times a kid would just come in and be like, it's my birthday today. And I'm like, oh, I have nothing planned. So now I have it by date. Uh, again, if you have too many kids in there, you can just um, print off another sheet or you could just double up names, you know? So there's that. Oh, excuse me while I turn my sheets. So this is allergies. Uh, it's, it's really good to keep a list of, uh, the kids allergies, especially if there's like different teachers coming in and they don't know, this is a really good thing to have on hand. Um, I know myself, I have one kid in my daycare, um, allergic to chocolate and I have one in my daycare allergic to yogurt and I always get the two mixed up. So I always look back at this and I'm like, Oh yeah, yeah. They're allergic to chocolate. They're allergic to yogurt. So it just, it, it keeps it in mind. And another tip for you, um, you can also print this out and put this right at your like kitchen, wherever you guys eat, just so you have it on the wall and it's like very clear there is an allergy. Um, that way everybody can see. Um, next is a weekly schedule. So this just goes Monday to Friday and it only has room for eight kids, but again, you can, print another page if you are able to handle, like take more wherever you're from. Um, I'm personally only allowed to have six spots where I'm from. So um, what I would do, if somebody is full time, I would put their name in one solid line, like um, Charlie, 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 Charlie. So I know that's full time. They have one full spot. If 
I have a spot that's being shared between two people. I would put um, Charlie's on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, and Harlow is on Tuesday and Thursday. So just like it's just a place for you to look and see who's coming which days which days are, which kids are scheduled for which days um i really like to have this this really keeps me um just knowing who's coming because my schedule is pretty crazy i take mostly part-time kids but i do have a drop-in space and um, so it's just nice to know, like I have drop-in space here, 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 here. And I can just say to parents like, okay, I have this days available uh, for you to come drop in if you need. So I really like this is, I feel like I'm always looking at this page, <laughs> especially if you have spots available or spots coming up that are available. It's really nice to be able to figure out who is coming. So there's that. Um, here's another one of these pages I made that you can just um, use as a divider or however you prefer in your binder. Um, this one says, when little people are overwhelmed by big emotions, it's our job to share our calm, not join their chaos. I think that's a pretty, pretty legit daycare statement there. Um, yeah, and then here's just like, if you don't want to take out their contracts, you can just take a quick peek at this. Um, I mean this binder not this particular binder but my daycare binder is used so much um if i need to know so you put the child's name and if i need to know like a parent's phone number to contact them at work say and it's not on my cell phone um i can quickly look here and just like easily call them up if i'm having an emergency or a problem um and it also is really good like to have it in here in case there is an emergency and like somebody you don't know um needs this information this is a quick place to find it so um this also has here additional people that are allowed to pick them up because like for my daycare they have to be like signed off in order to pick them up um and I also have notes like if so-and-so there's a custody battle or something, this person's not allowed to pick them up, you can write that in here. So it's quick and easy and you could just quickly look at this instead of going and digging out through all of your contracts um, to find that specific kids. So um, I do have, I think, four? Is it four? Yeah, I have four different colored sheets. Um, there's two per page, so... Depending on how many kids you have, depends on how many you print out. Um, like I said, for me, I also have dropping kids, so I have a lot more sheets in here, and it's quick and easy. I can just find the child's name and quickly figure out who's allowed to pick up who or who I need to contact if somebody's puking, you know, like, it's pretty quick. Um, I just re recently added this because... I didn't even think of it and then I was like, you know, I should really have like a spot for a wait list. So I did make up like a little wait list chart here. Um, so again, you could print out as many of these as you need. It just is the parent's name, their contacts. So on here, um, every time I get uh, kids into my daycare, it's usually through Facebook um, or if not through like word of mouth. So I can put on their phone number here or I can just put Facebook and then their Facebook name here. Um, their dates wanted. And then in the notes section, if there's multiple kids, I would put like, oh, they, they have two kids and they want Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and then that way I can easily go through my wait list when I have a spot open up and I can see like who, who would that spot work for and I can contact them to see if they're still interested in daycare. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a really helpful tool for you guys and honestly for me, like it's, it's much easier than just to say, oh, I have a wait list, but I have to go through all my messages on Facebook to figure out who's waiting. Um, this is a communication log. And um, so I don't know if everybody would use this, but um, for me in the past, um, I've had to deal with CPS 
um, because of a kid in my daycare. And basically this was just a way of me being able to keep tabs and remember different things that were said in the conversation or if I had a concern, I was able to write it down here and it was just like, it was an easy way for me to go back and look at this. So what this is, you print out one per, per child or however many you need per child, right? So you write the child's name at the top and then the date that you contacted them and it says phone, text, email, or in person. And um, it says reason for contact and then note. So uh, let's say somebody, you found a bruise on somebody. Um, so you would write it down, say found bruise where you found the bruise and say we talked to them in person and text maybe, like it's both, or you could even write down two separate ones in that case. Um, you text the parents a picture and say, oh, hey, I just saw this, can you please let me know what this is? And then if there's additional comments when they come to the door to pick up their child, you can write things down and just like, it's just a good way of you keeping track and tabs on what happened uh, during the contact and it's easy just to hand these pieces of paper over to social services or whoever you're contacting um, if ever the case may need be and I really hope it's not but it is in here for that reason and I have had to use it and it is very sad but you can also use this for good things too like um, I don't know if you told a parent you needed diapers or something this this could save your butt like this could really save your butt in a situation um, of course I've just added notes and ideas because I'm always writing things down and yeah so um, in notes and ideas I just would write down like oh I have this idea of like doing this activity and then I can go look back at my notes and add it into my activity log um upcoming dates so this is if uh well if there's a holiday coming up you could write that in if a parent says oh we're gonna be out for two weeks in the summer and they give you a date and you're like oh yeah okay I need to remember that you can write this here and um, it's just a quick easy reference um, what I do is actually just write it down by the month um, so like I'll print out like 12 of these um, it's kind of like a calendar honestly but I also have a calendar in here I just find it easier to write specific dates on this piece of paper so I can cross-reference it and as you can see it's beautiful and colorful and fun so <laughs> um, activities if you guys have seen my Facebook page um, I do my activities a little bit different, but I do find that this is like a really good rough draft for me. So um, this says circle time, story, craft, sensory, uh, table activities, and outdoor. So if you have to do all of these like daily, that's, you can write it down Monday to Friday. Um, and you can write in what activities you're going to do on each day. However, if you don't use all of those things and you have your own things you need to write in, I provided a blank one as well. So you can just write in on your piece of paper. I don't know, like you could put anything on there. Um, just weekly activities. So there's that. Um, again, I love to go through Pinterest and I will just add in whatever activities or anything I find um, for the week and then I that way I know kind of just like what I'm gonna be doing so on here I also have a weekly menu um, and I have two different options for this so there's a.m. snack lunch and p.m. snack or I have breakfast a.m. snack lunch p.m. snack it just depends on how early you're open um, for me, I only do a.m. snack, lunch, and p.m. snack, so I only do three meals a day, but like usually we end up, I end up giving them way more snacks, but those aren't like put in here. <laughs> those are just like, Miss Chris, I'm hungry. Can I have some strawberries? And I'll just go get them some strawberries, but um, my like 
planned meals I put in here and then I also added um just like a space to write down like which groceries you need in order to get all these things uh, again this is a Monday to Friday calendar um, if your daycare works Saturday Sunday I'm sorry <laughs> um, mine doesn't so I didn't even think of that maybe I should add it if you need it added just let me know and I can work on that for you um, but yeah, so I'll just add in like what I plan on feeding them for the week and then I can add my grocery list down here and I, it's easily um, ordered online. So there's that. Let's see. Is there anything else back here? Yes. So weekly supplies. Um, okay, so this has got five categories, um, but it's got others in it too. So you can... You can add in whatever you need. Um, crafts, books, printables, toys, and other. So, like, I just like to write down everything I need so that I'm prepared for the weekend and I can just go to the store and I can look here and I can say, okay, I need to remember to pick up some noodles and some paint so I can color them for our sensory bin this week. And I'll just write that all in here. And it's just a quick, easy sheet that I can take with me. And I'm not going to forget anything. So there's that. I think I already showed you guys this one. Um, happy times are never ending when we're playing and pretending. So that's just another uh, divider. And then I have a 12-month calendar on here. Again, Monday to Friday, because that's how I work. Um, when I was doing a lot more drop-ins, I would often use my calendar just to write in who was there each day. Um, to tell you the truth, I used to run full with just drop-ins, and it was really hard at the end of the year to keep track of like tax slips if I didn't write into a calendar. So um, that's really what I do here. But if you have like a special day in, like you can put, oh, going to the park this day or somebody's not coming one of these days, you can mark them in absent so you have another drop-in spot. You can use this calendar however you want. Um, it's got a note section at the bottom as well. So um, it just goes like they're all the same, right? They're just different colors, but um, yeah. There's that. And also, as just kind of like a little extra thing, I added in my tuition payments because I always keep these in my daycare binder. So I just added them. But I, I do sell these separate as well. Um, on my Etsy store at this moment, they are $4.50 um, for a 14 colored set. So all of my forms, well, not all of them, but a majority of them are color coded because that's how I, um, do forms with my kids. So I have an orange kid and then they would have an orange tuition payment form and they would also have a orange contract. So I know like that color is assigned to that kid. Um, so basically what this is, I just write the child's name and the year and then every time they pay me um I write it down on here it says the date that they paid me the amount that they paid me or, or the amount due the amount paid late fees if they were added um a method of payment and who it was paid by um so yeah I always write these down just to keep track right so again 14 different colors of them. I won't go through all of them with you, but they are on here. There's 14 different colors. Um, and then the other thing I added on here is a daycare budget. Um, now what this is, it, it's just for you budgeting. Um, these I use a lot because I do such elaborate setups so I just find myself budgeting a lot um I do plan on making some videos on how I budget for daycare um but yeah so it's just it's just a place for you to write all of your stuff down this is included with the binder as well because again 
I always keep these things in my binder, so I was just like, well, I'll just add it. But you can also buy these separately if needed. Like if you didn't want the binder, but you were like, oh, I would, I would love that uh, daycare budgeting sheet. I do have them on my Etsy store. Um, so you write in your fixed expenses, like your rent or your mortgage, um, like utilities, bills, that kind of stuff. And then your variable expenses are things like groceries, craft supplies, your toy budget, that kind of stuff. Um, if you're saving for something, like I'm saving for our fence right now, I always put some money into our fence. Um, and then I just add in how much I've put in and then how much I have saved up there. And then debt, like if you are trying to pay off like a daycare debt or something, like if there's something you bought for your daycare that you need to um, write, like pay off, you can also add in here how much you paid and how much your balance is. Um, like you don't have to use these for daycare. Um, I am a home daycare, but uh, I do try and keep my, my daycare expenses separate from my personal expenses, uh, although like daycare actually does end up paying my mortgage. So I don't know. Anyways, you can use this for whatever. It doesn't have to be daycare. You could use this for your personal self as well. Um, and I think there is five colors available in this one. I just have a re uh, regular gray, blue, orange, pink, and purple, I believe. Is it purple? Yeah, it's purple. So there's that. And then, yeah, so I use this one just as uh, my binder backing. Uh, it takes a big heart to shake little minds. So guys, um, I just wanted to show you this. Um, this is something I've just put up on my Etsy store. I've already sold a few of them. And um, I mean, if you've already bought it and... <laughs> and you didn't get the inserts, please go re-download it because I just did add them in not too long ago as uh, along with the wait list, which I didn't even think of. I'm like, I should really add that. So I did, but if there's anything you guys think that like I'm missing or it could be in there that you think would be a good idea, definitely let me know down in the comment section. Um, I'd love to hear from you. So anyways, that's the daycare binder. I hope you guys find this tool super useful. I know I do. I carry this thing around everywhere. If we go to the park, I have this thing in my bag. Like this is everything in one spot. All of this information that we need to know as daycare providers, it's so safe and kept here. And I'm just so shocked that like other people haven't thought of this because it's just, like this is such a needed tool in a daycare. It's basically like a teacher binder, but for daycares. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you're not already, do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.